Yeah, it was mean, but it was funny. The genius of Shane Warne. Can I take the out yeah, of Jimmy? The first thing that coincided was really bad. Even the maids would give you a stick. They wanted me to sign an autograph, so I signed it. It was an Englishman, and then he opened it up, and it was like, you are the worst bowler, or something along those lines. You bowl to the left, or and I'd signed it at the bottom. So that was, I thought that was pretty funny, actually. Yeah, it was mean, but it was funny. Cricket, you're there all day. You can end up in the same fielding position all day, and you can have the same guy going at you for six hours, and that can be quite mentally disintegrated. And you do realise when you land in Australia, you know, the whole country is against you. Even the maids would give you a stick and leave you little notes saying that you're going to get a walloping off the Aussies. You really do feel that it's you against the whole nation. When I walked out to bat at Lords in that first test match in 2005, Shane Warne came up to me and went, how are you doing today, Daryl? You right, Daryl? Can I take the out of Jimmy? He sledged me for years. I can't understand him. And he could have been teasing me, I don't know. I used to just laugh, face up and um, laugh it off. Surely he knows my name is not Daryl. And then it did twig that he was calling me Daryl after Daryl Cullinan, who was Shane Warne's bunny. And he was just sort of planting in my mind that I was going to be his bunny over the course of that series. Even the bloke taking you in the coach. Mark Waugh's going to spank you all round the ground today, toughers. And this one guy had been shouting at me all day. I bowled two bouncers, first two balls of an over. And he was just shouting, pitch it up, like, you, you rubbish, pitch it up. Ended up bowling six bouncers in the over just to, just to pick him off. <laughs> And that was the genius of Shane Warne. It wasn't overt sledging, but he got me thinking. Of course, having faced him for a couple of overs, I'm thinking there's a very good chance I'm going to be the next Daryl Cullen because I've got no idea how to face Shane Warne. Well, one of the best sledges I got was um, I walked out of Brisbane. Every single Australian was around the bat. Just as Shane Warne was running up to bowl, I heard this voice from behind the stumps, which said, hey, toughers, can you lend me a brain on building an idiot? I just thought, oh my God, I've got another three months of this.